Oh, fairy tale? Aw, first princess ball. That's cute. <laughs> Michael in a dress. Get it, Dad the Jester. First haircut, huh? On Penny's classic design. I feel like I've seen some of these pictures in the original series, too. Trigger looking good. Yeah. Mm. Mom's all into it. Oh, God. Yep. Oh, jeez. Wow, that's a hell of a setup. Naturally, everybody on their phones. Just like real life. Huh. Noah Barker. Odder things. So, a celebrity. Ugh. Is that a ponytail? Normal life. Oh my god. <laughs> Simping hard. Oh, um, Benny, don't you have a boyfriend? Uh, right. <laughs> it's just like, it's just like, uh, Benny? Uh, that's something I gotta know? Oh my god. Wow. Jeez. I mean, I knew they could be kind of shallow, but they ain't being serious about this, right? Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Principal. D did he come in with his own theme music? Oh my god. <laughs> Border guards. <laughs> like, shut your traps. Normally you wouldn't introduce someone in the cafeteria. Oh my god. Dang. Uh-oh. <laughs> Pardon the Red Sea. Oh, get it, Michael. Oh, Zoe. Okay. Hey, everybody's gotta have a tight. <laughs> Come on, Zoe's not that bad. I mean, look, I've seen Zoe dance. Girl got it going on. Where it counts, I guess. Damn, she got like a foot on him too. Just like that. Hmm, say yes, yeah, Zoe. I mean, unless someone else. <laughs> like, yeah, why not? Huh, well dang. Oh, only in a white girl's. Oh, I mean, I've known people like that. It, it happens. Oh no, this is it. Oh crap, this is gonna be a thing. <laughs> I don't know how to feel, cause y'all were just straight dissing your mans. I mean, so? It like Petty. Got a face like you weren't already into the cream. I know we don't see him in many episodes, but dang. <laughs> you got Whisperer money? <laughs> yo daddy, yo daddy ain't got no money. <laughs> yo daddy's money, yo mama's money. Uh, who's she? <laughs> She's going to Vegas. Man, does Puff have- uh, Nope, Puff don't have her dentures. Why is she taking this to heart? Huh. Again, Penny! Boyfriend! My god! I mean, I guess we could just be talking about how she feels like it in general. Hey, I mean... <laughs> If what he likes isn't what you are, then he <laughs> just ain't for you. It's as simple as that. Oh, is this a kind of you only want what you can't get kind of situation? Oh, there you go, sugar mama. Is it like, oh, so you gonna let your friendship be dictated by this? Lame. Puff did have the dentures. Ew, gross. Oh, oh my god, Oscar did have money. Oh, well, he did. Oh god, this is gonna be a whole thing. I don't know. Hmm, what about Zoe? How does Zoe feel about all this? Okay, I mean, I, can, I guess I can understand them feeling some type of way about it. It just, you know, half of y'all in this conversation shouldn't even be in this conversation because you got guys. But that doesn't mean they can't at least voice their opinion on it. Oh, I mean, look, first of all, th that's Maya here and hearsay. I mean, unless he's actually said outright that he only goes out with white girls, but see, there she goes. Wait, you kicked Zoe out? Cause, <laughs> wait, okay, come on, really? Oh my God, D did they really kick Zoe out because of something she couldn't control? Uh, I'm gonna say it, that's pretty racist. <laughs> I mean, honestly. <laughs> Like, what? Zoe had no control over that. Ooh. And Penny was at least trying to be civil about it, but dang. Look, I know Dijanae and La Cienega could be, you know, <laughs> some kind of way, including Maya. Like, even Maya. I mean, she, she toned it down for a while there, but let's not have for, forget how Maya was in the beginning when she first met Penny. So... <sighs> Honestly, it's kind of par for the course for the lot of them. It's like, oh, an episode that shows us how terrible of friends Dijanae, La Cienega, and Maya is? <laughs> oh, who would have thought? Terrible, shallow, petty. And the argument for how uh, how they feel about this ain't even a good one. Mm-mm. Freaking high schoolers. Oh, <laughs> you lose. Oh, Pappy. Only if he can use it to check into another hotel. Oh god. Bah. Oh, oh, dang. Nobody's that lucky that often. Now you have none. Oh god. No way. Jeez. That woman is magic. Uh-oh. -uh. Now you're speaking my language. <laughs> Money. Of course. I dated Andy Garcia. <laughs> oh god. I'm in love. <laughs> In love with the money. Oh, I'm sorry. Here you go. Here's <laughs> that coin. Oh, boy. Oh, no, Chica Mama. I don't think this is a fight you want to <laughs> fight. Don't do it. Don't do it. You got proud family luck. Yep. <laughs> Man, Wizard Kelly actually put Oscar as a losing... <laughs> 
Wow, that's, that's kind of messed up. Who is it killing me tripping? Mm. <laughs> Why am I always the jester? Because you never buy a new costume. And Trudy, after a certain point, it kind of feels like they're doing this, for, you doing this for you. Oh, looking good. Tiana, do the song. <laughs> do the song. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, at least they're having fun with it. Oh, is she Cinderella? Oh, uh, Brandy Cinderella. That was a good movie. Oh, I forget about the Brandy Cinderella. Uh, Elena of Avalor. Huh, nice. Very on Disney brand. Man, that song was going for a while. Oh my god. Why are you friends with her again? Oh, who the hell? Wait, Michael? Pocahontas. Uh, oh, you have Native American ancestry too. I mean, I'm pretty sure a lot of African Americans have some form of Native American heritage because a lot of bad things happen to a lot of Native Americans. Although it was, what was it, my great, great, great grandfather who married an actual Cherokee Indian? Like, we actually have a picture of them together and everything. I think it was that many greats, but I mean... <laughs> I, I wouldn't, you know, dress and all that, because, oh no, something about that feels a little wrong. It's just like, yeah, I, I technically have the heritage, but, I mean, mm, that feels a little someone with Irish ancestry getting drunk on St. Patrick's Day and feeling it's their birthright kind of situation. I mean, Michael does look good, rocking it. Oh, um, Maya, are you illegally allowed to be wearing that? Who is she? Beyonce. Okay, Wh why you get jiggy with it? Mm-mm. Oh my goodness. Dang. Luck be a lady tonight. Oh god, no. That's instant snake eyes. Uh, yup, sure enough. How can a cooler have such hot breath? Mm. Oh, got that gold grill. Oh, bouncer. Wait, the nurse? Oh, dang. Oh, oh wait, Mr. and Mrs. Boulevard is. What? Okay, party in my suite. Man, everybody got a little bit of that petty juice going on today. Dang. Come along to the sweet darling. Leave Snake Eyes alone. And yeah, she wants to soak. You can leave her. Yeah, free food. What? She was invited. Man, Wizard Kelly all up on the Proud family. I, I don't remember him being this much of a... Oh. Honestly, an ass. I mean, he was an ass. Let's face it. But I, I don't remember it being this bad. I don't speak poverty. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> the wind blows wherever he goes. Oh, BB and Cece dressed as Simba and Nala. That's cute. I, I don't know. It's kind of weird to be doing all this just for... A little get together in your house, but I mean, hey, private celebration. Benny, Michael, oh, nice. Hey, Michael wins every year. Kareem, man, get you a man who will show up with pizza. Or wait, was it was he already a delivery driver? <laughs> he brought the delivery guy. Man, did he eat their pizza Th to make a point? Dang. <laughs> I mean, it, it's a sweet gesture, but at the same time, I'm gonna say that's payback for dissing the boy. <laughs> okay, Prince Naveen. Mm. Man, Kareem is a class act. Yep. <laughs> oh, your dad's coming. I'm out. Oh, snap! <laughs> Merida came to play. Oof. <laughs> it's only at your strap. Hey, y'all have it coming. You being a bunch of assholes. <sighs> I mean, honestly, they all have it coming. Really? <laughs> yeah, what is wrong with that? I mean, it kind of sounds like you're taking out a lot of aggression that you should have on Noah and putting it towards someone who should be your friend. Oh, uh, that's the lesson of the episode. I mean, I get it. But man, you dragging these characters down. <laughs> I mean, I've said it before. They're a bunch of jerks. But man, it's at an all-time high this episode, because Zoe don't deserve any of this. Like, that's the thing. I mean, it'd be one thing if Zoe had let it go to her head or something, but I mean, the whole instigator of this whole entire episode isn't even in the episode for the most part. Mm, nah. See, this is the kind of people I never hang around with in high school. Damn. <laughs> this episode i thought we were cool <laughs> you have a man you act like zoe being white like oh <laughs> it's like her doing something to you on purpose that, oh my god I, I i get it i get it there's a lesson here but this is maddening this is the stupidest argument possible i i Honestly, I hope Zoe slaps the lot of them. I have, I've, I've never wished for a beatdown before on this show, but if, mm, if there was ever a time for Zoe to just start throwing hands, this is it. Cause, cause to hell with a lot of them. If this is how this is going. And then Shamir is just like, oh, there must be something wrong because he asked you out. Like, wow. T 
to hell with these guys. Myron only likes, well, thank you, Penny. God. And I actually thought Trudy was actually gonna say something. Like, this is the one time I'm just like, oh, Trudy, I need you to put these girls in their place. Because this is some old bullshit. Uh-uh. I mean, look. La Cienega and Dijonet could be selfish when they don't get their way. But this, this is taking things to a whole nother level. Yeah, it is a messed up situation. Oscar, you're not helping. Man, I, I don't know. I guess I was privileged to the fact that I've had friends who are both white and black, and everything in between and around and beyond, whatever. So, I never really had a situation like this come up. I mean, would this really be an issue? I mean, yeah, you probably feel some kind of way. It's just like, oh, he only, this person only dates this kind of person. I mean, shoot, I've been in that situation. And it did kind of make me feel some kind of way, but I wasn't riling against the person because it's like, oh, this, that, and the other. It's just like, I mean, yeah, it, it is what it is. It kind of sucks. Wish I could change the person's mind, but I don't know. The, the direction for this is kind of, ugh. Like, I was in this kind of situation where someone I was interested in, a black girl was only interested in white dudes and yeah it sucked i was kind of hurt by it but it was like that was more of a feelings between me and the girl kind of situation i wasn't like like down on the dude because that's somebody else's feelings like like this this episode kind of goes against everything that i am as a person if i'm being honest but maybe that's the point i don't know Oh, 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 sugar mom, why are you sitting in the dark? <laughs> Here, dad does a crappy job at changing locks then. Chimney? Okay, Penny, I need you to tell sugar mama she wrong. Hey, you were too old to be dressed up as princesses, but, I mean, if you had fun, what's the harm? Zoe stole the boy everyone was crushing on. Oh. <sighs> Even you looking at it like that, huh? And I guess they would feel some kind of way because it, it makes it seem as though Zoe is embracing the fact that the dude is, oh, being kind of racist, I guess, but... <sighs> Hmm, I don't know, because it's, it's Zoe. Like, Zoe is like the sweetest character in this series most of the time. And to think that she would go along with something like that if it was actually the truth. I don't know. I feel like that says more about everyone else and not so much Zoe. Yeah. See, Celia. Celia's acting like the adult in this situation. Like, yo, calm it down. Come on. Oh my goodness, really? Mm-mm. See... <sighs> That's a question Penny 2's kind of situation. Yeah, it's not okay to just only like someone based on their skin tone, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know, that, that feels a little unfair though. Cause first of all, it's not like he outright has said he only prefers white girls. And another thing, if he mainly tends to date white girls, maybe that's just how things work out. Shoot, I've known plenty of black people who've only ever dated other black people. <laughs> I've known black people who only say they will date other black people. I've known black people to give black people guff for dating white people. Like, it's so... That, that feels like a double-edged argument right there. Now, if he outright says he only dates white girls, then we got a little bit of a problem. The way I see it, love is love, man. If he's actually interested in her, then he's interested. Shoot, you could have a black Zoe rock up who has the same characteristics and just skin tone, and maybe he'd be into that. I don't know, it just feels weird to jump to conclusions. But then again, it's high school. It, it, it is high school. High schoolers are not known for being the smartest, right? Okay, so he admitted it, and Zoe wasn't down for it. Of course! <laughs> like, of course! Y'all know Zoe! The fact that y'all were acting like this towards it, like, Zoe ain't never, never acted some kind of way about anyone's color. And then the first moment it seemed even remotely like that, y'all turned on her? Like, ah, nah, to hell with all of them. Mm -mm, I'll say it. Even Penny doesn't deserve Zoe. This, this, this is wrong. This is wrong. And Zoe's been the butt of many a situation, but, uh, but it is a situation where I will admit, even in the black community, there does tend to be some hypocrisy. You know, other peoples of color judging you on how black you are because of what you're into, saying black people don't do this, black people only do this, this, that, and the other. I, it, it's a mindset. A good amount of our people need to get out of, cause that's only holding us back from a lot of things. At least in my opinion. Maybe I'm, oh, I'm I feel like maybe I'm stepping a little too many minefields when it comes to this episode. But this episode got me feeling some kind of way. This episode legit got me up in my feelings. Man, Zoe, your friends ain't trash. 
Your friends are trash. To hell with a lot of them. No. No. The way they turn on her. No. That's some BS. Yeah, you messed up. And you owe her a lot more than an apology. That's some bull. <laughs> Sisters before mistress, huh? Uh. <laughs> La Sienna's just dancing with Michael. Am I dancing with a... Oh, wait, that's one of the Asian kids, right? <sighs> Byron. <laughs> like, I like you because you're smart. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I don't know about this one. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's me. Maybe I feel like maybe I missed some things along the way. I just feel like, wait, Celia was Jane Lynch? I thought her voice sounded familiar. Huh. It just feels like we, we could have gone about this a different way. It just, <sighs> ugh. I had heard there was an episode that made some people feel some kind of way, but I kind of chalked that up to something being overblown, but if this was the episode, oof, yeah. I'll be honest, I don't know if I should ask anybody's opinion on this one. This feels like a minefield in and of itself. Oh boy.